all Americans, on average, use energy at a rate of 10,000 watts. That means for every man, woman, and child in the United States, there's the equivalent of 10 1,000 watt bulbs burning all the time. What has happened over the last 50, 60 years is that the companies that have been in the oil business and the chemical business uh, and the auto business are the huge monster companies. When you have that much sort of economic power and translated into political power, that's a very hard thing to change. When we talk about saving the planet, it's a little too fuzzy and it's not really, it's not really an accurate expression of where, what will drive most people. I think when people understand that the planet is going to be fine, it's you that's not, people pay a little more attention. I feel like we really live in a materialistic society saturated with brand names and slogans and that's really how kids at my age but also more and more adults too kind of define their lives. I mean you know there is a real focus on what I have physically and not what I have emotionally. A lot of people feel powerlessness. They, they, they look around, uh, we live in a country at almost a third of billion people and they say, what can I possibly do? Well, the reality is you can completely 100% change yourself and your family. One of the ways too that we've um, really been thinking about and changing what we do is really thinking about what we buy. So it's not so much just the recycling and reusing of materials, but what you're actually purchasing. Sustainable agriculture to me, and I think to the food product, is a way of producing food that leaves a light footprint on the earth. We give back to the earth what we take from it. It's also about taking care of the earth so it takes care of us. For me, it's personal excitement about small innovations in your own living that actually, maybe you set up a great composting system from your kitchen, and it's just so cool when it's working. Um, celebrate when you're not spending $3 a gallon on gas, but you're Viking. We have to all look at ourselves as being as part of a social compact. That's part of what this country was founded on, and, and that we're a community, and that we're in this together. And realizing that we're not the only ones who deserve to live on this planet. This planet was not created so that we could completely take it over. It's fine.